and welcome to Library Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell, Youth Services Director at the B.B. Comer Memorial Library. Thank you for joining us today and I just want to send a thank you to TV47 for allowing us to showcase our events and activities and things we're involved with uh, to show our community the things we're doing. So thank you TV47. Uh, today I'm talking about STEM and STEAM. I know you've probably heard a lot about that. We hear a lot about STEM in, in schools, in the classroom, and now the big buzzword is STEAM. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. <laughs> See if I've got that correct. I'm talking today with Jamie Harbin. She is the STEAM teacher at B.B. Comer Elementary School. So thank you, Jamie, for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. Good. Well, we have a lot of things to do. We're going to get straight to it. Uh, first of all, tell me about yourself. Well, of course, my name is Jamie. Um, mm -hmm. I'm married. I have my husband's name is Barry, mm -hmm. and we have two children, um, Landon and Grayson. They okay. both attend BB Comer. Yeah, and we enjoy seeing them at the library together. <laughs> they enjoyed it good, too. Good. Now, you, you've been at, at Comer for several years. Is that I correct? have. This is my 11th year at Comer. Okay, but you've been, you're the STEAM teacher now. Yes, ma'am. Exactly right. And been doing that for a couple of years. Or yes, ma'am. This, this is this my second year. Wow, well, that is great. Well, I kind of briefly bumbled through what STEAM is. If you could explain what STEAM is. Okay, so STEAM is an innovative teaching practice that integrates science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math, and it also meets state standards for each grade level. Okay, good. Now, what about how is this different from STEM? I used to hear a lot about STEM. Right, so STEM is different from STEM because it includes the arts. Mm -hmm. And many schools in our district no longer have art and music classes. Mm -hmm. And the arts are really essential for developing a child's um, creativity and critical thinking skills. So that's why it's very important to include the arts in that STEAM. Right. That is great. I know money is always short. So right. it's great <laughs> to be able to include this. Um, now you said you're the STEAM teacher. What, what does that mean? How, how do you how, how do you incorporate STEAM into the, the classroom? Well, Talladega County Schools has been a part of the STEAM initiative um, for the past two years, and many teachers in our district have received professional development on how to integrate STEAM okay. across all content areas. Lots of training. That's right. right. <laughs> so at our school, STEAM is incorporated through extensions of learning from AMSTI math and science lessons, also okay. project-based learning um, units of study, and also through various STEAM challenges that I do with the kids. Um, and every lesson also has some kind of literature connection. Oh, oh no, we like to hear that at the <laughs> library. It's always connected to a book or a story. And I know when you talk about uh, project-based lessons and all that, AMSTI, I'm not sure I know what all that means, but I think a lot of that is having hands-on activities. It is hands-on discovery. That is great. And that is the best way for children exactly. to learn, to discover themselves. Great. Uh, so you incorporate that into each teacher's curriculum or, no, you have your own classroom. Yes, ma'am. I do. Tell me, how, how does that work? How do the children come to you? So at our school, I actually serve pre-K through sixth grade. We just added okay. a preschool unit this year. Um, and my job is to plan and co-teach STEAM lessons with teachers in, in each grade level on a monthly basis. Um, that they come to me this year, last year they came to me for 30 minutes and it didn't work so well. So this year they come to me um, three times a week for like I said on a monthly rotation yes. they come to me for 45 minutes each day oh, so that we can actually start and finish a unit together right. um, and during the time period the teachers and I teach collaboratively um, mm -hmm. on these STEAM inspired lessons and they're like I said they're direct extensions of the learning right. that's taking place in the classroom and since only a handful of our teachers have actually been through this STEAM training mm -hmm. it also serves as an opportunity for them to receive job embedded professional development. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Learning out on the job as you Right. Go. I like that. It's nice that they don't just go to you for STEAM and then they come back to the classroom and they don't do it anymore. I mean, right. you know, it's nice that it's all incorporated it's, in. It's nice to see the carryover when you walk through the halls and see oh. students participating in other activities yeah. outside of STEAM. That's great. And your co-workers are wonderful. I know that right, they are. So you I'm have, very blessed. You have to work closely with them, with I the do. teachers. I right. do. Right. Right. Okay. Great. Um, how, how does this help the students? I mean, you know, I hear STEAM is wonderful, STEAM is wonderful. Why? Why right. is STEAM wonderful? Well, the goal is not to train the ch children to be an engineer. Uh -huh. um, you know, some people might think, because you hear engineering, I'm teaching uh -huh. them to be an engineer. <laughs> um, but every child will be faced with a challenge or an obstacle in their yes. life. So by teaching them the engineering design process, they're able to learn how to um, brainstorm, mm -hmm. to make a plan, to think creatively, to test their ideas, make adjustments along the way and effectively problem solve as a team. Um, and the goal of STEAM is not only to build on their understanding of science, technology, 
um, engineering practices. We also get into coding and robotics and things like right. that. But it's to equip the students with the life skills that they're going to need, such as critical thinking and communication and collaboration and creativity. Because by the time these students graduate high school, there's going to be so many STEAM careers available to them, jobs that don't even exist right now. So oh, okay, as teachers, right. you know, it's our job to prepare them with the skills and the mindset mm -hmm. that they're going to need to take on these jobs that don't even exist. That is great. That is great. And I like the working collaboratively, collaboratively if I can say that, I know that's together. <laughs> we all need to learn to work as a team. Right. Uh, it's not all about me. It's about working as a right. group. That certainly carries over into high school because you're pre-K through sixth grade. Is yes, that correct? It carries over into high school or college or in the workplace or in your home. Right. <laughs> I mean, it all carries over. <laughs> so that's wonderful to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like, of course, tying the story in. I love that. Mm -hmm. love to tie it to a story. And the cr critical thinking skills, You, I'm just kind of uh, <laughs> repeating what you've said. Those are things you use whatever your job is. Right. Yeah. You might not be an in engineer. Now, some kids might decide, hey, I really like right. this and see that they, you know, have a have a bent toward that, they really love it and they might mm -hmm. want to do that, but others might think, I don't want to do it, but I've learned something. Right. I just want to teach, teach them the importance of math and science because that, that is really important mm -hmm. and you're going to need it regardless of what you do in right, life. Right. And adding the arts just brings that creativity right. to it, I believe. You might have future movie stars, <laughs> singers, dancers, <laughs> whatever out there. Uh, right. Well, you sent uh, some slides of some things y'all are doing I in the did. classroom. If we can look at those for a minute. Okay. This was last year at our innovative STEAM showcase for Talladega County and they, the students worked on a project for um, alternative forms of energy uh -huh. and we incorporated the Makey Makey kits and they recorded, they did some coding. Uh -huh. um, they actually won second place. I was very proud of them. Wonderful. They, we invited the community in and they taught them all about um, how to use alternative energy in ways that we could make our school a better place. They basically redesigned the future BB Comer. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's great. So here they are working together. Okay. Yes, and this one is one of the first classes I did this year. Um, mm -hmm. We read a story called Beautiful Oops, and I talked to the students about how mistakes are okay. It's what you do with the mistakes that's important. So what they did was they made a mistake on their paper, and they turned it into some beautiful artwork. Oh, how neat. Well, and that's a life skill because right. we all have oops all the time. <laughs> exactly. That is great. Now, how, what age group? I wonder. Um, maybe 30. There's a kind of a mix in there. I did this with um, kindergarten all the way through sixth grade. Wow, how fun. Great. As kind of like an introduction to STEAM. <laughs> oh, good, good. Okay, here we go. And this was this past week. This was first grade. Um, we're doing a, a fairy tale unit um, of study. And they had an engineering challenge where they had a budget of ten dollars. They had to design a trap to catch Goldilocks. We read Goldilocks and the Three Bears, oh. and um, they really worked hard at it. They were very competitive with each other, and we actually had a group that designed a trap for only four dollars. They had a budget of ten dollars. Oh. They were so excited. Oh, now I love that using money. Boy, that's a life skill there. Right. We kind skill. of incorporated a little bit of everything because you know we got into gravity with science and also the math, the budget. Oh, wow. I'd love to see some of those traps. <laughs> they were great. We saved them all. <laughs> oh, they look like they are having a ball. And they were having a blast. Mm -hmm. And this next one, um, I, this was a kindergarten class. Um, we learned about civil engineering and also building inspectors, and we were doing an investigation on shapes using a defined STEM lesson. <clears throat> um, and they're learning about how buildings and our surroundings are all made up of shapes. And what they did was they created their own structures using marshmallows and toothpicks. And then after they worked as engineers to build that, they kind of walked around the room as building inspectors and um, took a look at all of them and named the shapes that they could find. Oh, how neat. I love you're teaching civil in engineering and they don't even know it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's great though. Anything with marshmallows has got to be fun. Too. Oh yes, they, they enjoy that. And they get to see each other's work. Right. That is great. And like I said, we make the literature connection and we watched a video they learned about those types mm -hmm. of jobs. Oh so. wow, even starting that young. Starting that young. <laughs> start to think about what they might want to do. Right. Uh, well, do y'all have any plans? Any big things coming up or just you're just getting into school? Definitely, we have some competitions coming later. I've just okay. um, formed a STEAM team at our school and I've got oh, 21 wow. students on my team. Fun. I'll be taking them to various competitions okay. and events this year. So I'm super excited about that. Do they compete like within the county, within the state? Both. Um, okay. We actually went to a state competition last year. Wow. 
so kind of a mixture. <laughs> oh, now that is fun. I mean, I like I like when kids are competing, trying to do their best, working together. That right. is interesting. It, it, um, I, I, just, I love my job. I have the best job <clears throat> in the world, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what type of training did you have to have to, to be a STEAM teacher? Um, well, I was an AMSTI science trainer before what this. What is AMSTI? AMSTI is the Alabama <clears throat> Math Science Technology Initiative, okay. and they bring us kits, sort of like what you've got. Right. Um, all the materials are there. Um, and we teach the, the kids, and like I said, I served as a trainer, and uh -huh. then from there, I became a part of the STEM initiative, went to a lot of professional development. Okay. I've been to different schools to observe, and um, uh -huh. from there, they decided to let me be the STEM teacher. <laughs> well, you certainly got the training for it. That is wonderful. Exactly. Well, um, as Jamie was talking about our kids, we have STEM kits at the li library now available for checkout for teachers and things. So we're going to talk some more about that. Thank you so much, Jamie, for Thank joining you for me. Thank having I've me. enjoyed hearing about what you do, and I'd love to hear how your students do uh, in the future. Send me some, some pictures or things. That I, would I be certainly great. will, and I'll be excited to use the kits and take some pictures and send them to you. Good. Great. <laughs> okay. We're going to pause for a commercial break and hope you'll join us when we come back. Hi, it's Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home, or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years, and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years, and we can make our approvals right here in the office, and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Marble City Pharmacy in Sylacauga is your destination for the highest quality health care. Our knowledgeable pharmacists are always available for questions about your medications or advice on taking over-the-counter products and supplements. Our friendly staff can assist you in choosing from our full lines of compression hose and medical equipment. And don't forget our gift department. We have a great selection of unique gifts for every occasion. Stop by today and see us. Marble City Pharmacy, where your health comes first. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to Library Connection. Uh, I was talking a few m moments ago with Jamie Harbin, the STEAM teacher at B.B. Comer Elementary. She's now, Sarah, swap places with her. This is Sarah Osborne. We work upstairs at the Comer Library in the Children's Department and wanted to let everyone know about our STEAM kits. That's what these are. Bless your heart. We had to carry, bring all these in this morning, but it was fun. We have STEAM kits. Our director, Tracy Thomas, wrote a grant to Honda, in which we received, and we were able to purchase items for STEAM kits. We have 20 different STEAM kits, uh, and a kit would be like a box, one of these tubs full of, uh, each one has books that are digital books, multiple simultaneous use. Um, let me let you explain about the, the QR code. Right. Um, I'll find you a book. Every kit comes um, with some little QR codes, which are on the back of the box. You can see right here. Mm -hmm. These are um, all the, most of the books that are in the kit will have these little QR codes. Actually, mm -hmm. all of them will. Um, yeah. We also have inside the little cardstock um, pieces of paper with the QR code on it um, that you can scan and on the outside of the book right here. And so what a QR code is, is it's something that you can scan with your device, um, either your uh, cell phone or your uh, tablet, something like that. Mm -hmm. And you just download the app, it's free. Um, you scan the little QR code with your camera and then the book will launch right. on, your, uh, on your device. So, and you can save that even if you don't have um, the actual book or maybe you've you know, gone home, but you have this little QR code, you can launch this book anywhere you have uh, mobile service if you're on a phone mm -hmm. um, or Wi-Fi if you're on a tablet. Right, so right. that's a way to take it, take the books home with you. Take it with you, that's right. great. And I like that they are multiple simultaneous use. If you're a classroom teacher, you can, um, you know, you have the book, 
there with you if you have the kit. Then you get your students with their devices, and most a lot of the schools have right. gone one to one. Every child has a device, even in the younger grades. Mm -hmm. Each child scans the QR code. Everybody has the same book at the same time. Right. And and if they're one of ours, you have not had to purchase the book. You've just borrowed it from us. So that's great. I, I like that. Right. Every child can be reading the book at the same time. Right. And uh, it would hold the, the book inside of the app for you. So mm -hmm. you can even exit out of it. Uh, okay. Maybe if you're, you know, using your tablet for something else. And then come back to it and look in the history. So you can still pull it up um, even though okay. you don't have the code. If you've scanned it once, it should still be in the history for the app. In your history. So you can, can keep it with you. That's right. great. Each kit contains several several books with QR codes. Each kit also has a lot of hands-on items, and we're going to talk some more about that. Uh, they, some have CDs, some have D DVDs, so a lot of different ways you can use yeah. them. Uh, they're available for instructional use for teachers and for homeschool parents. They can check them out. They're available for a week. Uh, now we're going to talk, we have 20 of them. We're going to talk about a few of them, uh, a few of the items, and this looks we just boxed up a bunch oh, of things did. to bring yeah. with. We were so excited. We I wanted know. to bring everything, but we couldn't. So <laughs> there was not enough room. Right. You've got the weather vane. Out. Yes. This goes with the um, weather kit, mm -hmm. and um, this one is probably geared more towards younger kids. But you could also use it with your older kids. Um, it has a little rain gauge here, um, you know, for your wind. Um, it has a compass on it. What direction the wind is blowing. Um, and then for your older kids, um, you might could use this. The weather center. If you're talking about uh, barometric pressure, it has a thermometer, a barometer, and a hygrometer. So these, the kits are designed, um, I mean, we got them so we could use them for story time, mm -hmm. and I've already used a couple of them already. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also can adapt them for older older right. children. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty they're, versatile. They what, are, yeah. Flexible, what I want to say, yeah. All right, that's part of the weather kit. Let's see. And I, like I said, I'm sorry, these are not in order. We just, these are both money. This is exact change. I can tell you counting exact change is yes. a difficult skill yes, to teach and to do. So this is a game about exact change. It's a card game. Uh, these are kind of like flashcards. It's uh, Money Match Me. It can be a game um, or just flashcards, uh, you know, to try to teach um, about change. Mm -hmm. um, and they just have different little pictures of change on them and then on the back what they are. Right, right. So those are kind of neat. Something every, everybody needs to know. This is a game called Managing My Allowance. And I like this because, of course, learning about money, we want to know how to match money, how to, right. how to make change, but we also want to know how's money used. You know, right. I have an allowance of $5 and I want to buy this that's $2 and this that's $4. You know, how do right. I um, save up for that? So this is practical practical use, real life math experience. Mm -hmm. Right, that's kind of um, these books that come in uh, the same kit, the money kit, um, money for food, and I think we have two others. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's money for clothes and money for toys. Yes. Um, but you, you know, you start off with your piggy bank, you have so much money, um, you know, maybe you want a bracelet or, you know, a pizza or something right. like that, and you have to decide um, th through the book you know, kind of what you what you want to spend mm -hmm. and how much you need to save and that sort of thing. And these books are on a third third grade level. Um, they could be read to y younger children or even older children, really right. learning you know, how how to use money. All right. Now we're getting a, some of these things are about the solar system. This is a magnetic solar system kit. It's all the planets and their magnets. So if you've got uh, a magnetic board mm -hmm. or have that magnetic paint, or just you the can, fridge at home. The, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, the fridge. Other words, perfect. They'll all stay on there so you can put the planets in order mm -hmm. part of that and then I don't know if you can see this very well um, I know a lot of kids probably had these in their um, on their ceilings yes. you know when they were younger but it's a little um, glow-in-the-dark moon and then it comes with the stars um, so that's nice you know you can talk mm -hmm. about that yeah oh another thing that goes with the, the space kit uh, some more hands-on things these are space let's see astronauts, a space chimp, a rocket, there's a thanks for not. So it's more than just planets, it's everything that has right. to do with with space. But I mm -hmm. thought these are not not a little keeper with all a space lab, a space rover, all kinds of things to to I almost said play with. <laughs> play with <laughs> and learn from. There right. we go. And then we have these beautiful books. We love these books. Um, yes. And there's one for each planet. Um, these are our ABDO books. Um, each one, like I said, has a QR code. They all do um, just about the different planets. And um, the ABDO books, 
they have in the back um, something that's really nice. Yes. You can go to the, um, the ABDO website and there's a little code in the back of the book um, and you can play games. Um, yes. There's videos you can watch to kind of... Crafts. Connect. Right. You can mm -hmm. extend, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your yes. whatever lesson you're trying to learn. Yes. So. And I know I downloaded one on my on the our iPad and um, as you scroll, you know, you scroll, you read the book, scroll through the book and then it has a page of, like you said, videos and things right. like that. So it's a lot of fun. There's just a lot more even beyond the books that you right. can do with that. All right, this is from our sound and hearing kit. <clears throat> Some of you may have heard of Sid the Science Kids. People say, oh, I love Sid. He, we have several videos that go with uh, our kits too. That's the one on sound and hearing. <clears throat> this goes with our um, money kit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is just a bank bag full of plastic coins, um, dollars, you know, up to $100 bills. Um, and they're all beautifully marked um, on the outside, tells you how many of yes, each item. Yes. So Thank when you, you start to pack it up and bring yes. it back. You know. Right, shout out to Catherine who cataloged yes. all this for us. It took her a while, she is so good yes. um, to do but that But you for will us. know exactly what you're getting. It says so right here, everything you're getting and then everything is labeled in a bag. So, you know, I know if I take a, a box and use it. I want to make sure I'm returning everything in right. it. So this is a good yeah. way to check against it. It's a great it. way to check. Yes. Right. Big shout out to Catherine. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this is place value flip book. I like this. This is talking about place value from ones all the way to millions and you can flip the numbers. You know, pick the number. Maybe you can tell a child to show you this number or you can put it, you know, put up some numbers and ask them to tell you what it is. Then on the other side, we're, we get into the decimal, your de decimal places here, you've got ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands. That's something that's really difficult to teach, but this is a nice little stand that you can use in your classroom and kids can, can work with it. So right. It's part of the place value one. And then this goes with the um, sound and hearing kit. You may have used one of these. Some people just use PVC yeah. pipe, but this one's really neat. You hold it up to your ear um, like this, kind of like a telephone, and you can hear yourself speak. And um, that's really good. I know when I was in school, we used these um, mm -hmm. to help with our reading. We would yes. read, we would kind of whisper, read um, out loud to ourselves, and so we could yeah. hear ourselves better in a classroom setting. That so. definitely works with, with fluency. You want it, you're reading to sound like you're talking, and it's really mm -hmm. helpful when kids can hear. And if they've got that through their ear, that's what they're hearing and not a lot of other things right. going on. Well, we're through this box. We're going to stop, take, and pause for a commercial break and hope you'll join us when we come back. Hi, it's Shawnee McNeil at South First Bank. This is a great time for you to buy or build a new home, or maybe refinance your present mortgage. Our rates are the lowest they've been in years, and that means saving you money. We've been helping our customers become homeowners in this area for nearly 70 years, and we can make our approvals right here in the office, and that means saving you time. We're located here in downtown Sylacauga. Come in and find South First, a better way to bank. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. At Fort Williams Pharmacy, you won't find motor oil, garden hoses, or mountain climbing gear. Nope, they don't have that. What they do have is a professional, friendly staff that understands your needs. Filling prescriptions is their primary business, and they take it seriously. They also have a drive through window for your convenience and free local delivery. Most of all, Fort Williams Pharmacy knows your time is valuable, so when it's time to fill your prescriptions, you need it done fast, friendly, and accurately. Fort Williams Pharmacy, our family, caring for your family. Coosa Valley Medical Center, one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama, is also Sylacauga's largest employer. Services from the emergency room, to surgery, to cancer treatment, to post-stroke care. You won't believe what's right in your backyard. It's Coosa Valley Medical Center in Sylacauga. So, if you're sick, in Alabama, choose one of the top 10 hospitals in Alabama. That is Coosa Valley Medical Center. Hello and welcome back to Library of Connection. I'm Mandy Cantrell. Sarah Osborne and I are fast and furiously talking about our STEAM kits at the library. We have 20 of them. I might just read through those right now, now that I'm thinking about it. Here are the different STEAM kits we have available for checkout. Animals, bugs, color and vision, dinosaurs, growing things, magnets, motion and simple machines, my body, ocean life, sound and hearing, space, water, boom whack music, number sense, weather, money, measurement, makey makey, handbells, and addition and subtraction. So a little something for everybody. Right. What have we got here? Uh, oh, I love this. this. Yes, the sound. This goes with the sound and hearing kit. We talked a little bit about a mm -hmm. couple other things that were in that. Um, these 
our little cylinders. It's kind of like a matching game. They have um, something inside, so you would shake mm -hmm. and you would try to see the corresponding you know, sound, right. if it sounds the same. And they're in red and blue, so you could use it you know, as a game or mm -hmm. you could just just shake them and see what they sound like. Yeah, pretty nice. I like a nice way to do that. You don't have to make that. Right, yes. <laughs> this is a magnetic plant life cycle system, life cycles of a plant from the fruit, the seed, the tree, all of that, just mag magnetic, like we talked about the um, planets a little while ago. Right. This goes with our um, animals kit, which we really like. Um, these are what's inside animals. And on one side, it's a picture of whatever animal. On the other side, it's like an x-ray where you can see the bones. Mm -hmm. And if you hold it up to the light, um, you can see the bones through so the picture animal. of the animal. So we thought that was super neat. <laughs> it was one of the coolest things. We it, loved that. It one. was, yeah. And I still want to talk about the books that we have. Each each kit has several books. This is Fruits, and this is a book for younger children. It's about a third grade, but beautiful pictures. Yes. A lot of photographs, a lot of things in here talking about different fruits. Always a way to tie that in, and with the QR code, you can have it for a long time. Right. We have a, um, a bugs kit as well. Everybody loves bugs. Um, yes. So we have a book that goes with that. It's a Dr. Seuss um, on Beyond Bugs. And with that kit um, is a tube of different little insects. Um, there's some ladybugs, millipedes, things like that right. that you can play but play not really play yeah, with. Well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have some bugs inside um, like a crystal. Yeah. That you, I don't know if you can see very well but they're just kind of encased and they're real bugs so you can look at each part right. you know of the bug they're small enough you can and there's a yes. magnifying glass i yes. think you can look at there it is on. a magnifying glass in there so you can look at that um and then with that kid also is a little um, bug catcher yes so. yes fun fun that's fun Sim simple machines we're not going to get this out but it has you can create five simple machines pulley wheel and axle incline plane lever and wedge all with the pieces in here you're putting it together yourself Okay. Measurement. Here, here's some measuring jars that goes with our um, measuring kit. And there's several jars. I won't pull them all out. Uh, several jars inside. You know, you have your gallon, your quarts, and all that that goes mm -hmm. with measurement. Right. Magnets. Here's one. Here's a magnetic um, wand, I guess you'd call it. And these balls have magnets in. Everybody loves magnets mm -hmm. to play with them and learn about them. Uh, this is pretty neat, though. I love this one. So you can play with the magnets and learn how they work. Uh, this goes with our um, addition of, and subtraction um, kit as well. This is uh, pop for addition and subtraction. It's another game. Um, you know, that's a little bit more fun than just, you know, what's two plus two? Yeah. Right. So it just yeah. makes it a little more fun. I like that. A lot of these things are things that the teacher can demonstrate, and some of them are just uh, things you, that the kids can play together on their own. And here's just a sample of a dinosaur puzzle. Lots I believe on the other side it's, it has the um, skeleton. It does. Of, I don't know if you can if turn can it around. Yeah, there's part of it there. right there. And they're wooden, um, so they're durable. So many things, a stopwatch, a measuring tape, binoculars, and we are almost out of time, but please come by the library and see us or call us. And if you'd like to see more uh, and hear more about our STEAM kits, then we'd love for you to check them out. So thank you, Sarah, for helping me lug all this here. No and we hope, uh, we thank you for joining us on Library Connection and hope you will come see us at the library very soon.